Hello, friends. Hi, friends. <laughs> Today we're in the kitchen and we're going to make breakfast for supper. We've been craving supper. Uh, supper. We've been craving supper too, but we want breakfast. So Kennedy's over here making homemade biscuits and I'm frying some bacon and some sausage and we're going to make sausage gravy and, and bacon. And this video is going to be about her making some homemade waffles. Christopher loves her waffles. And so we're going to make um, their family favorite recipe of waffles. Yep. So we've got our sausage over here. We're going to make sausage gravy. We got our bacon. And I want to say something about this beautiful bowl. Um, there's a sweet uh, couple that I know, Carl and Renee, and they knew I was looking for a bowl with a lid. And this one has a lid for my biscuits. And um, it's, it's over there somewhere. It's okay. But isn't that beautiful? He got me that. And I'm just so proud of it. And then last night, where's my mug? Right there. That Last night, I, they gave me this mug. I just love it, love it, love it. And then look over here. This is what I really love. This These kitchen towels. Biscuits and gravy. Isn't that cute? I just cannot wait to open them and use them. Actually, we probably need to use that one tonight. Don't you think, Ken? Yep. So, isn't that darling? So thank you, Carl and Renee. I so appreciate it. I'll thank of y'all every time I see it. Okay, so I'm going to be making buttermilk waffles, and these are my nanny's waffles. And she always makes these anytime we have breakfast, especially late at night. She always makes these, and me and Christopher both love these. So you're going to start by melting one stick of butter. And when you do that, you're going to go ahead and add your one cup of buttermilk to it. And then you're going to take a hand mixer and you're going to mix that together before you add your other ingredients. Okay. So now you're going to add your one egg. Half a teaspoon of baking powder. And then you're going to add in one and one fourth cup of flour, but you're going to gradually add that as you mix. So I'm just going to add a little to begin with. And that bacon, that bacon powder is going to rise in them, so don't overfill them or it'll be a mess. Okay, so it is flashing that it's ready. So you can get them more brown depending on how you like them. I kind of like mine still a little gooey. That's how I personally like mine because I don't like anything crispy. But I always put butter on mine and then... I always put chocolate chips on top, but you can put anything, fruit, blueberries, strawberries, and peanut butter, which is what Christopher would do. And then he takes that up and just drizzle it on the top. That looks good. Yum. 
And we'll tell y'all how many this makes. And uh, she's going to keep continue making them. This one out. And the recipe made five. So you can double it or half it if you want to make less or more. And there we go. Make those pretty. We got our gravy. We got our eggs. We got our biscuits. Time to go to the table. Thank you, Lord, for this day, for this food you've given to us. Bless the hands that prepared it to our bodies. In Jesus' name we ask, amen. I'm the hands that prepared it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> and me. Don't that look good? We.